The Parliament of St. Lucia is giving offenders a second chance with the approval of the Criminal Records Rehabilitation of Offenders Amendment Bill. Details in this report. Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Development and the Youth Economy, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, at Tuesday's sitting of the House of Assembly, presented the Criminal Records Rehabilitation of Offenders Amendment Bill for debate. The Prime Minister explained that the amendment serves as a response to the calls of many individuals, especially the youth who have been adversely affected by their criminal records. So what this bill sought to do, Mr. Speaker, is the bill sought seeks to amend the Criminal Records Rehabilitation of Offenders Act and makes provision for certain criminal convictions of offenders to become and to be expunged from the records. Mr. Speaker, as I said before, criminal records have been used in society to criminal records have been used in society and they prevent persons from holding a job, sometimes obtaining a license or even obtaining a visa. Having a criminal record expunged allows a person to put the, the past behind and get a second chance in life as the stigma attached to a criminal record is removed, leaving the person with a clean court record. This act makes this new life possible. The Prime Minister explained the amendments providing a breakdown of the process. By establishing a rehabilitation of offenders board that has the statutory power of determining whether conviction can be expunged or not, in order for conviction to be expunged, the conviction must be spent and must carry a term of imprisonment not exceeding three years or be a non-custodial sentence. As a result, a convicted person must satisfy the criteria set out in the Act, having regard to the relevant rehabilitation period under the Act. Therefore, on the Rehabilitation of Offenders Board being satisfied, the conviction will be spent and the convicted person will be deemed rehabilitated for the purposes of this Act. It is only at this stage that a person make an application to the board for the expungement of a criminal conviction from the records. In relation to a person currently serving a sentence, Mr. Speaker, the Act provides that a person must have served or otherwise undergone or complied with any sentence imposed on, on him or her in respect of that conviction in order to be deemed a, rehabilitation, a rehabilitated person in respect of that offence. This means that a person currently serving a sentence must complete the sentence in order to qualify for expungement. However, the Act also recognizes that the Governor General can, on the advice of the Committee on the Prerogative of Mercy, grant a pardon to any person convicted of an offense. It is fundamental to note that a pardon only takes place where a person is subject to a sentence and a pardon cannot, in effect, expunge a conviction from the criminal records of that person. Therefore, as it relates to a person serving a sentence, a pardon must be granted before the sentence can be expunged, Mr. Speaker. That was Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Development and the Youth Economy, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, speaking there at the sitting of the House of Assembly on Tuesday, 31st August, 2021. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville.